Hello loves, thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aries. The card that just popped out is the Six of Pentacles. You have the world card here at the bottom. So there is a completion that's happening. I feel like there's a lot of victory and success. Oh, wow. There's another card under here. Six of Swords. So six, you could be saying six, six, six. Um, the number six has a lot to do with balance. The year 2022 could be of significance to you. But it feels like you're moving out of some type of cycle. Now, when I say cycle, for some of you, it could be a person, place, thing. It could be a job, a situation, a mindset. But you're moving out of something here. I feel like you're moving into a time in your life where there should be more reciprocity. There should be more generosity. There should be equal give and take with the Six of Pentacles here and Six of Swords. This is a positive shift. It's a positive change that is coming for you. Yeah, the Seven of Swords. There was probably some type of plan or strategy where in the, you could have, um, yeah, there was some type of chaos, conflict, drama, some type of oppressive, dark-like energy here for sure. Um, jealousy, envy, chaos, conflict, corruption. This could have had something to do with your overall security and stability with the five of pentacles being here. You feeling like you were left out in the cold. Okay. This could have been something. Yeah. The eight of cups here that made you um, consider walking away from something or someone completely here. The three of pentacles is here. And then here is a six of wands. So you have six, six, six out here. The seven of swords. So for some of you, yeah, the three of pentacles, the five of wands, it feels like you have to overcome something in your life where there has been some type of, like I said, there's jealousy, envy, or something that is very low vibrational and corrupt that has been um, working around you in your environment with the five of pentacles being here. Some of you could have really been thinking about moving away from something, someone or somewhere because of a lot of the chaos and the conflict with the five of wands and the three of pentacles being out there. This could be, you know, you understand the friends, family, people in the workplace. I feel like there's um just this level of growth that is happening with the entire collective right now, where a lot of people with this 666 energy here, six of swords, six of pentacles, six of wands, in order for you to have this wish fulfillment, in order for you to um, experience like this equal give and take, this generosity that's coming from from God, from the universe, from from the divine, from source. It's like there's a roadblock here. This is also a test because it, it looks like you were journeying onto some type of greatness in your life, and then boom, you just kind of ran into what appears to be like a roadblock here. You can even see with the cards, it's. The six of swords, like you were on your path, you were on your journey, you were going towards something that was going to be quite promising. It was bringing about equal give and take, generosity. You know, the six of wands, you could have been in the public eye, but this is victory and success. And then all of a sudden here, the seven of swords, you ran into something. This could have been a group of people, group of friends, family, but there was some kind of jealousy, envy, like I said, conflict, chaos. You you were met with this. So it's all, it feels like you have to take a step back because the six of wands here and then you ran into the five of wands. Queen of wands just came out and the three of cups. So you have the, the king of wands. The... Nine of Swords, the Hangman, and the Hermit. So you have the King and Queen of Wands out here with the Three of Cups. Okay. There's a celebration here. This could be some type of connection, a partnership. The King and Queen of Wands to me um, are two people taking action, two very assertive people. For some of you, this could be it could have been like a business partnership that you were going towards or that you're currently going towards right now. The nine of swords, the hangman, and the hermit. 
the tower, the three of swords, and the star. Yeah. Um, there's a partnership out here that has... Um, somebody has been looking into this. This partnership, the development of this partnership... This is two people who are in the same community. You have mutual friends. There's a mutual... Um, something is mutual. Time, you and, and another... It's a community. There's a community standing in between the King of Wands and the Queen of Wands. And it's right here. So... You have a community of people for some of you. Who are trying to block the partnership. It doesn't have to be romantic. It could be business or whatever. But there is a community. There is a group of friends, family, colleagues, whomever. They're standing right in between the queen and the king of wands. And then you have here the nine of swords. The hangman and the hermit. The three of swords, this right here is breakup energy, um, divorce. This is a sudden change. It's an ending. It's something here abrupt, and then it's two people here. So, once again, the three of cups and the three of swords, this is a third-party energy. They came in between the king and queen of wands. And this, this is what caused the person... To feel like they needed to walk away from something or sacrifice something because it was too difficult. Or there was the goal. Someone was supposed to become so dissatisfied, disgusted, distraught about a situation that was taking place. They, they would just walk away. But whatever this... <laughs> I have to be careful because I remember the, um, the card, you know, and there's... YouTube considers it nudity on the star card. Somebody wanted, this was um, a plan though to make someone walk away from their wish fulfillment. There's a lot of blessings. There's a lot to gain here in something that brings about wish fulfillment. That's why you have the six of swords, the six of wands, the six of pentacles. Somebody is on their way to having a lot of happiness. The ten of cups is here in reverse. This could have been someone's family, a group of friends, whomever, whatever this is. It's it's people here, though. It could be a family member. Or somebody was just projecting an energy onto two people that there's no way there's this could be a happy life or you will have a happy family here. Someone, though, is choosing to walk by faith and not by sight. With the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Swords. It's like even though someone was at a crossroads and they could have been indecisive. I feel like Spirit came in and was like, I need you to just trust. Trust trust God right now. Walk by faith and not by sight. Because what you're seeing here, this conflict, this chaos, this is really an illusion. Yeah. And look, page of wands, three of wands. Somebody knew that exciting news was coming in about the lovers, about a connection, a partnership. So somebody is fully aware that someone has really great news coming in about something and they try to have a person paralyzed by fear or to project a lot of negative energy onto a person so that they will walk away from something that was truly wish fulfillment for them. Remember, this is something that could have happened to you or it's happening now. Seven of Pentacles, yeah. The whole goal was to make somebody feel like they were investing in something that would never, it would never bring them good karma. It would never balance out. But behind this good karma, behind this justice was, was, the, was the devil there. Something very toxic, very low vibrational and karmic. For some, this could have been a mindset. Someone could have been under the impression that, oh, because a situation did not work out, um, this could have been a legal matter. Could have even been like a marriage or something because they didn't work out. Oh, nothing's going to work out. 
the Empress. See, I just said marriage. And here's the Hierophant. Somebody could have been under the um, impression that because, yes, there you have it. Be careful because this to me looks like someone has either parents, friends, family. There's people around who have perhaps struggled or this could just be the collective as a whole at large where you see a lot of people talking about failed relationships, divorce or whatever. Somebody here is looking at a situation like, you know, so many people break up, so many people separate, um, so many people don't do well in their particular business that, you know, that that business model is, is saturated or people who get married, it doesn't last or whatever. Someone here has been projecting this out so much towards a person that it could have led you or someone that you're connected with to almost lose hope. And something manifesting for you. But what's coming in for you, 666 six, six here, six of swords, six of wands, six of pentacles, the star, whatever is coming in for you is absolutely destined. The three of wands here with the lover's card, there's a partnership that is coming in for you that is good. It's great. There's no, no worries. But you have a group of people here. Or there's a particular person who has been... Um, disappointed or, or scorned in love or they feel like they've been taken advantage of in business that has been projecting this energy that no you you can't have that whatever this this life is that you you think that you are curating for yourself that's a dream that's a fantasy no that, that doesn't exist queen of swords this is a very harsh and bitter person queen of cups yeah this person is telling someone that, you know, Queen of Cups, very loving, you're very kind, very nurturing, that you're not going to have this Ace of Pentacles. This is someone who is saying this because they're in regret. They're disappointed. They could be carrying resentment, a bit of bitterness. They're disappointed. But see, the truth is, is that you do actually have an offer that's coming in. You've been patiently waiting for it. It has been slow to come. But for some of you, this is God saying your blessing is here or your blessing is coming just not with that person or that group of people around for some of you there has been a literal like division between you and a person who is a of a um love or romantic interest or a business partnership because of somebody that you've had around you that's been talking down about a situation excuse me sorry yeah the world card, the world speaks of success. You do have success. But the eight of swords, you've been in a mental entrapment here. I don't know. I just keep getting for some of you. This is romantic. Like somebody has really been pushing this narrative that everybody lies. Everybody cheats. Everybody is going to fumble you. you. You know, um, you shouldn't you shouldn't want to be with a person if, if, if certain things is happening in their life, whatever the case is, like somebody here has a very, very strong opinion about what you should or should not be doing when it comes to your finances, your business, matters of the heart, your relationships. And yeah, somebody needs to um, stay very focused on what brings you happiness. Because, again, what you want is, is, is there. It's for you. You just need to be mindful of the energies around you that could possibly be blocking you. Or even the energy within your own mindset about something. Yeah, King of Swords. Yeah, you're going to have to stand up for something here and protect it. King of Swords, Seven of Wands. This could for sure be like a masculine right now. This person, like, if you look at the seven, somebody is like, I really want that. I really want a happy life. I really want a family. And they're like, should I should I go forward with it? With this last principle, like, should I still pursue it? Yeah, you should. You should absolutely stand up for what you believe in. Protect and defend your own honor and, stand, you know, go for what you, what you know is best for your life and ignore these naysayers or whatever. 
whatever this may be, somebody's like, no, you can't do that. You're too young. You're too old. You're not the right fit for it. Um, you know, what, wh why you, if this is, this is somebody who, yeah, you should passionately pursue whatever this is because it's going to bring you long-term stability, success, wealth, abundance for some partnership, marriage. It's going to bring you the true desires of your heart. It just requires that you free yourself from something or someone or a person, place, thing, a situation, a group, whatever it is. You just have to free yourself from this. And somebody right now is is getting the courage because they're like, man, I've been I've been down for a while. Yeah, somebody's gonna find the courage though for sure to be very resilient. Somebody here is getting their mojo back. Somebody is recognizing an illusion and they're choosing now to break through. Yeah, Knight of Swords and the Eight of Wands. Someone is breaking out of this um this mindset of of um victim consciousness woe is me someone has a lot of people around them that are in a victim mentality you know woe is me that didn't work out for me that you know it's something out here for sure about business i keep hearing saturated somebody keeps trying to tell you that a particular market or something is saturated but it's it doesn't matter because you have the star quality so whatever you have it's going to work out for you because it's you. There's space for everybody, but if somebody definitely has a person constant, you don't need to do that. It's not going to work out for you because it didn't work out for this person. It didn't work out for them. Their market is saturated. I don't think, you know, it doesn't matter. Four of Cups here. For some of you, this is something for a while that you, you could have really been like turning down all because of what someone else said or told you. This is this is gonna work out for you. Yeah. Yep. Look, death. This corruption here. It's like somebody is. For for to be honest, some of you, someone was trying to put an end to something that you had coming, and they were willing to do whatever it took. But you have that same type of energy of by any means necessary. When someone was trying to end something for you, you were in the energy of by any means necessary, I'm going to transmute and transform this situation. Now the four of swords, you're probably about to go into a period now of recovery. Yeah, good news is coming. Page of Pentacles, especially good news in business. Good news in partnership. Yeah, nine of Pentacles, again, you're going to be just fine. This painful situation in your life is, is finally coming to an end. You're going to be just fine. Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. You're going to be working on something that you love, okay? Look at that. King of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. There's a strong um, presence of a masculine energy out here who is truly about to go after like some kind of creative project. If this is a couple, for some of you here, here's the Queen of Pentacles out here with the um, King of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. Once again, the King of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This is some type of power couple um, partnership that's coming about. Someone has been standing in the middle of you and another person for some of you. But someone is now putting it in. Somebody is recognizing that they need to put an end to some type of deceptive situation here. And they're choosing now to put the work in. This is the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. So this could be two people. Again, this couple for some that's coming together. It doesn't have to, I'm going to say these partners because it doesn't have to be romantic. The Nine of Pentacles, there could be a feminine energy out here. Feminine could be male or female. Keep that in mind. But someone out here is already established while the other person is right behind them. They're working on becoming as established or as wealthy and abundant as this other person. The reason why this person has to work twice as hard right now, though, is because they've had this, this blockage here. They've been getting information from the wrong person. Someone has been crushing someone's um, spirits, honestly. But you have the Ace of Cups here. For some of you, though, this is a partnership that is very much rooted in business, career, and finance. But I feel like there is the presence of love for some or romance here. Or this is just a business 
um, idea or project that you're going to do that you're really, really going to love. But for some of you, you are going to receive good news about business, a partnership, and it, it could lead to romance. You know, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups out here. This is this is taking action to do something that you truly love. Some of you, a person is falling in love with you or you're falling in love with someone because they came into your life and they, they helped you to see the importance of you coming out of being in this rock bottom line energy and pursuing your dreams. Yeah, someone here is enamored, I'm hearing, with um, enamored and impressed with someone's ability to help them come out of some type of rut, like, this, I'm hearing, my, so like somebody is, it's almost like a mindset coach. You shifted, you've helped to shift someone's mindset from victim consciousness to success. The sun, the strength card here, this, this kind of reminds me of like the, the sun energy. Um, this woman on here, like this feminine energy, this person is, is like carrying like the energy of the sun, like Leo energy. The the feminine energy here that can protect this 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 woman, this feminine energy can actually protect this line because of, of like I don't know, it's like the you know like the feminine energy just can tame this this lion. Yeah. See look, the Knight of Cups. Wow. I can remember. The Knight of Cups, the Magician, the Six of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Sun. There you have it. And behind all of this greatness here is this illusion that was in the background. It's um this this was an illusion. It was a mindset shift. Somebody here has had an illusion about life, about love, about success. It, it was subconscious blockages of fear since childhood, and they've awakened. They've awakened. Wow, and become the emperor. Yeah, this is a masculine going through a major awakening here. There's the Emperor, the King of Cups, the Temperance, the Nine of Cups, the Chariot, the High Priestess. So somebody here is helping a person find the strength to come out of being at rock bottom. Someone has been just working very, very hard and they're, they're not receiving um, the return on their investment because of a blockage the mindset blockage this person is coming in now and they're opening up their heart they're opening up their mind their emotions things are changing they now are manifesting someone is going back to manifesting from a place of being free before tra before trauma so it, there's a traumatic experience that you or whoever this person is that you've connected with you both may share this type of energy where you're just you're you're coming out of the matrix. This is stepping into the North Node energy where you're you're coming out of karma and you're going into your your dharma. You're going into your good karma now. Like there's a clean slate. You're not holding on to karmic debts. But someone has come in and kind of pushed somebody. This the Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles. It's like you you've already established yourself because you you know this type of mindset that is necessary for success you meet a person they're struggling or or this is you and they're trying to get to the nine of pentacles but they just the only thing they're missing is their mindset shift the six of cups the four of wands and the sun somebody is manifesting from a place of purity now for some of you this this is a celebration here of a partnership and again, the cards here just tell you somebody is waking up from an, from an illusion or a subconscious blockage that they've had since a child. Someone out here also, too, um, I talked about this with one of my friends a few weeks ago, that shiny object syndrome, where somebody has been a little bit childish in their pursuits, unable to focus. Somebody may have like ADHD or something even. 
somebody out here has not known how to focus or they lose focus easily. Um, I'm, I'm telling you, somebody out here really enjoys, um, I'm going to say flattery. Somebody out here gets very confused easily. They, the seven of cups, I'm going to be honest, with the page of cups out here, somebody has been a little bit naive and gullible in a way, but also somebody is easily, I don't want to say tricked this way, but somebody is a dreamer. I'll say that somebody out here is a dreamer. And because they have these big dreams, They they fall victim sometimes to things that are glitter that they that they appear as gold. But somebody is hungry for gold because of some type of lack. I feel like did somebody out here has been hungry for something in life because of a victim mentality, some type of lack. And either this could be you or someone that you know. But the good thing is that someone has run into a person now that is helping them to awaken. And they're understanding the importance of them getting structure. Someone now, this is a masculine. Someone now is learning how to have self-control instead of them jumping to everything that seems shiny. They're learning how to have patience, discipline, self-control to do things in moderation. Page of Cups to the King of Cups. This person's emotions are growing. The Page of Cups, they're not just going out or making offers to anything or anyone at any time anymore. Someone now, the King of Cups, they're becoming emotionally intelligent. And this is now a help, helping this person to awaken fully to a divine masculine energy, whether male or female. This is going to allow someone to become an, an excellent business owner, partner, whether it's a life partner in business, marriage, or whatever. And this person is so happy now to be getting on this spiritual journey. The high priestess here, they're very happy now to be getting on this spiritual journey or to be going towards this high priestess because they now can finally put their burdens aside. This is someone who has been held back and restricted because of things that they've been taught. Their own... Um, It's just a lack of knowledge here. But now they're digging deeper. Page of Swords. Someone is doing the research. They're studying. They're developing. They're digging deeper. And now they, they made a choice. A choice has been made now. And there's a, a brand new beginning. So you have um, a person here and it feels more like a masculine. You know, masculine is like the yang energy, very action oriented. Someone here is learning how to have more temperance. Like I said, to do things with more self-control and moderation. Someone is learning to not jump the gun, not to be easily swayed by illusions and temptation. They're tempering themselves. They're, they're working in, working through things. When you're in survival mode or you have a scarcity mindset or um, you fear poverty or you feel fear of failure, it leads you to taking desperate measures to do things. And that leads oftentimes to people having a taking a major loss in life cutting the deck here you have the ten of cups so somebody wants partnership they want love they want family they want um emotional fulfillment but that requires you to be in alignment you have the ten of cups energy when you're fully in alignment truly with the will of god for your life you know What I'm gonna find this here. Wow, the Ace of Pentacles. I asked what's the final message, the Ace of Pentacles. Cutting the deck, the Ten of Cups. Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. 
and here's the emperor sticking out. <laughs> so you have an emperor out here. Someone is choosing now to create a solid foundation. They're stepping into their power, utilizing their strength, their authority to be a leader, to have influence. But they understand now that there has to be structure in order for them to be in alignment. So someone is preparing themselves now for, for family, for security, for stability. Understanding that in order to have the Ten of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, even to have the, the Ace of Pentacles, like prosperity and abundance, but this is being gifted to someone. It's a gift for obedience, really. Seven of Wands, yeah. Somebody is definitely standing up for themselves and they're taking on this challenge now to become the magician, to manifest everything. Somebody is manifesting family. They're manifesting leadership roles, a business, the Ace of Pentacles. This is God coming in, gifting someone with exactly what they've been dreaming of and manifesting after going through some type of spiritual awakening here. Somebody is realizing that they always had everything that they needed with, within them, but they also are realizing that they also had something within them that was blocking them. So somebody is finding, oh, this is very beautiful. Somebody is discovering the life and the death that, that lies within them. It's something within you or this person that has been dead that they needed to get rid of. But whatever that thing that is that was there, it was holding on to, it was blocking the life in this person. Pride, ego, stubbornness, lack mentality. All those things come from survival mode. Survival mode leads to people being codependent. Leads to people being afraid of rejection. The fear of rejection leads to people not being able to have success in family or in business. Nine of Cups in the reverse. Three of Swords. Yeah. This is a lot of pessimism. The Three of Wands is in the reverse. This is always expecting the worst. Always expecting heartbreak. Expecting to be sad. Expecting heartache, pain, sorrow, expecting to just not have good things because of what you've seen, what you've heard, or what has happened. The Ace of Swords is here with the with the Eight of Swords. Somebody is now saying, like, no, that's not how life has to be. The King of Cups. And then here you have the Empress and the Temperance <laughs> together. This is a creator. Two people. This is a, a, a an alchemist and a creator. Again, understanding patience. And it, it is the presence of this Empress energy. Everything starts and ends with this Empress. And I don't want to make it seem like somebody has to idolize this empress energy, but the empress in this reading is someone who has who is nurturing something within this masculine. Or if this is you, even as a divine feminine, someone is just nurturing their own divine masculine energy. It doesn't have to be a partnership. For every person, for some of you, this is just a union within yourself. You are nurturing that part of yourself that fears success. Or you fear failure that comes from reject a rejection wound. Now somebody is understanding it's okay if something doesn't happen right away. Sometimes no just means not right now. That doesn't mean that you're being rejected. The Empress also represents again parenthood. The Ten of Cups out here. You have here the Empress, the Emperor, the Ten of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This is the creation of a family for some. A family, a family business. 
there's a lot of uncertainty here and a lot of patience that's required. But again, someone is now finally moving past their fears around rejection. This type of um, pessimism has been taught to someone and they're finally releasing it. I just want to pull a healing card just to see if rejection may come out. Entrapment. Yeah, being stuck in a cycle. Healing from a cycle of entrapment that has been caused by rejection. It's an inner child wounding. It's a subconscious blockage that has caused a lot of delays. If you have a deep rejection wound, it's, it's very hard for you to accept love or to accept even success in your life because, yeah, yeah, you have it. Self-love. Someone is choosing to okay, <laughs> love themselves. Have faith. Hold in the soul. So there's a, a lack of self-love here. But their lack of self-love, like in the beginning of the reading, again, that's something that has been taught. Someone has been taught not to love themselves because they've been in the presence of other people who have been rejected a lot. Somebody could be 27, 34, 36. So someone's cycle of them selling out in their life, I feel is coming to an end. And the sellout energy, yeah, and discovering your life purpose. This is someone who has, like I said, because you've been taught, oh, that's saturated or you won't do well in that. You shouldn't try that or whatever. Someone has been settling for crumbs instead of going after what they really want, like playing it really small because you haven't really been taught how to have faith. Or a lot of self-love. There's a hole in the soul here from some type of rejection. But Spirit is saying you're receiving help from above to get you out of this mental entrapment here. No need to sell out anymore. Discover your life purpose. But it does require patience. Someone had to learn patience. And to have the courage to be very authentic. Someone has been pretending with sadness here, even though they they appear as if they're beautiful, they look good, they feel good. Someone here has been hiding a lot of sadness. They've been wearing the mask because this person has not fully embraced their life purpose out of fear of rejection. Fear of not being well received or accepted. Again, this is, this is pessimism and self-hatred that has been taught. So, that's what I have there. Um, let's see. Let's get a message. Whoa. Vibrational match. Like I said, for some of you, there's definitely like some kind of, um, you're sending out signals that are bringing forward positive new experiences. This is in work, career, and your relationships. My cards keep flipping out. You have here the golden stars. The stars are lining up for your perfect opportunity. So the stars are lining up for your perfect opportunity. You're becoming a vibrational match for love, for partnership, and for a lot of deep, deep healing as well. Inner guidance. It is time for you to pay attention and listen to the guidance of your soul. Yeah, you have to listen to yourself now. Not, not anyone else. It's a lot of false leaders, false prophets. It's a lot of mentors and other people who are not able to help a lot of people to grow and evolve because they themselves, they don't actually have the, the right mindset for you to, to help coach you to become the vibrational match for the things that you're trying to manifest. Somebody here, this is people... Some people, their inner dialogue, you have to understand, does their inner dialogue have a heavy heart or, are they, or, or a light heart? It says, take time to nurture your emotional wounds. It is time for you to let your inner child out to play. Yeah, and this also is... Again, a part of you discovering your life purpose. 
go after the things that you truly want to do. You could have a lot of people around you who, again, especially if they're older or it, the age doesn't matter, just people who have a heavy heart, their inner guidance, their inner dialogue, it comes from a place of, of a lower vibration. Yeah. So some of you, you could be um, dealing with perfectionism as well. You need to make sure you're clearing your mind, but it's time for you to just tap into your, your life force energy. You have your heart and heart. So we have heavy heart, light heartedness, and hardened heart. Don't allow this situation to make you bitter, cold, and aloof. So yeah, there's some type of deceptive, destructive energy here of betrayal. And, and sometimes, you guys, you really have to understand that some people, they will hurt you or even betray you unconsciously just because of their own inner dialogue, which happens to be from a very negative place. A lot of hurt people, hurt people, they don't even recognize that they're hurt. That's for you to recognize and see that, oh, wow, someone is possibly giving you bad advice because they just don't know what they don't know. So don't let these situations harden you. Don't make it a point to be bitter, mean, or upset. Just see, like, okay, I need to move forward. It doesn't matter who this is or even in the community, even here in the tarot community. A lot of readers, like myself included, we can pick up on very negative things, but you have to know how far to go with those things. This is my very first reading in nearly two months. The spiritual attacks, the rejection, the bitterness, all that you cannot allow these things to harden your heart because you will block your own blessings. There's a lot of people right now who are closing out karmic cycles and chapters, and you can hear it in the way that they speak. They're mad. They're angry. They're mad at the world. They shouldn't be talking to anybody. And if you've been on my channel for the last nearly three years, you will know when I'm going through something, I will take a break from this channel. I will not sell my soul for this channel. I will not become mean, dark, nasty over this channel ever. And I and I try my hardest to not bring into this, this craft or this tool of divination or spiritual practice negativity with my own life force energy that I'm sharing with other people. You have to make sure that you're utilizing that practice in everything. It's okay to not be okay. 